As part of his ivory trafficking investigation, Brian Christie is led to a small West African port in Lome, Togo, where the largest African ivory seizure in over a quarter century was recently discovered by Lieutenant Pierre Aoi. One of the men arrested at the scene is Din Hu Kao, a Vietnamese national who owns an import-export business in Lome. Din is suspected of being a major kingpin in the illicit ivory trade. It was Lieutenant Aoi's revolutionary idea that led to the arrest. Using a massive x-ray scanner, Aoi began inspecting containers not just going into, but out of the port. They identified four tons of ivory hidden inside these containers. It's the biggest seizure of ivory in African history. Ça va, ça tient? Uh, let's compare this yes. with uh, the, 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 the seizure one. Excellent. So, c'est ça l'image? Okay. Ça. Avec du, oh. avec it, it should not be uh, packed like that. It looks like you, snakes. You, you, in see, there. you see the yeah. difference? Yeah. You, you will see that there is ivory. Yes. At Lome Prison, Brian is able to secure an interview with Din Hu Kao, the man being charged in Lieutenant Aoi's case. So you have no knowledge of how the ivory got into your container? <coughs> We've never seen ivory before. So, in your home, they found uh, $165,000 in cash, mm. Thai baht, mm. uh, euros. U.S. dollars, yeah. Sifa, yeah. Vietnamese dong, yeah. all in cash, in your house. Tất cả tôi đã kê khai với lại cảnh sát ở đây hết rồi. Người ta đã kiểm đếm rồi người ta thống kê tất cả đã có hết. Rồi. So you don't make much money in the timber business, but you have one hundred and sixty-five thousand dollars in cash. And you have a brand new Land Rover. It's a fix it all the time. It's not a good car. I, I have seen the car. I wish I had that car. 